we're on the burger tour guys just like we did the dessert tour just like we did the shawarma tour but this time uh, it's just me and my pal Hassan I want to say I think Dubai is one of the most underrated burger destinations in the world right and well I mean there are hundreds and hundreds and maybe thousands of burger places yeah there's tons of burger places but what's awesome is hopefully you promised me we're gonna do local chains only local stores only local only so I want people to see how good Dubai born burgers are I'm really excited I love burgers I love burgers in Dubai people are sick of it but a good burger is a good burger all right so hashtag support local brands and we're about to start with the first local brand I don't know if you can see behind us but we're basically on the beach and that, that's like a walking jogging cycling track but we literally are I think 50 feet away from Jumeirah Beach. Anyways, you ready for this uh, this burger? I'm ready. Are we doing all beef? For this one, yeah. Let's do all beef, but let's show everybody where we are. How about that? Let's do it. Here's what I don't get, man. You put like an awesome burger joint right on a jogging track. That's <laughs> kind of like, na 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 <laughs> We're having burgers over here while you run. Something like that, not sure. How you doing? How's it going? Two two burgers? The original fries, fries as well? Yeah, the one is the cheese with the fries. Uh, yes, okay, so the first one with no cheese on the fries, the second one with cheese on the fries. Okay. Here we go guys. Meal for three, 221 dirhams, which is, if my math is correct, about $55. It's just under $20 a person. For two small burgers, fries, and a lemonade as well. Activated charcoal lemonade. So you get one of these because when your order is ready, you get buzzed now. Let's go over there because that's where the order comes through. Then you go back to the second food truck and you get all your burgers. The whole box. So it is the size of my palm. I mean, it's super small. Look at that. Look at that. Just so you know. Just so you know how big it is. Open that up. Got that patty. Got cheese, melted cheese, pickles over there, and this bread is like super buttery. There's a sauce under there as well. Secret sauce. A little bit of sauce under there as well. Okay, Asan, I don't know what kind of person you are, but I am a four bite kind of guy when I come to salt. What I mean by that is one, two, I'm just being polite. I usually would do this in three. But <laughs> I will do it in four. Three. I can feel the inside of my mouth like super coated in butter. Patty's not super thick. It's really thin. So there isn't a lot of meat there. Right, let me bring this one out over here because this one is like special. This one is a bunch of fries in a little bucket, a little cup, and it's got oh, yeah, cheese on top of it. So look at that cheese that oozing is. down. So genome requires what I love is we got the skin on the potato still, which is very good. And still crispy. Come come closer and, and hear this. Oh yeah. Of course that yeah this is one of the best burgers in Dubai. Oh yeah. <laughs> This burger is really juicy. Yeah, I mean, look, look at my face, it's still oily, man. <laughs> Score, zero to 10. Nine. And you know this man usually is very strict in scoring. I would actually have to agree. I think I'd give it a nine as well. It's actually very good because it's small enough for you to be able to have just one, not two. So, all right, fries, fries. Fries are classic, well-made. Nothing special, but just the right fries you need with your burger. What is the right fries? I think it depends on the burger. Oh, okay. For this kind of burger that's really nice and soft, yeah. the bun is really soft, you want something crunchier and thinner. Yeah, so it works out nicely. Because I am a big fan of that crisp cut. You know what the crisp oh, yeah. cut is, right? That's not like a big like big piece of tomato. They, they cut it like really thick, and then there's like holes in it and stuff like that. Do you guys eat one or three, four, seven? Which one are you? Oh. Comment down below because I am this kind of guy. Just a quick clarification. And you get two burgers for 32 dirhams, just so you know. So that's uh, 16 each. Just over $8 for two burgers. 
and it is just about four dollars for the fries and that activated charcoal lemonade is the one that is something like nine dollars so did we even try that i have not even tried it yet so here we go they were telling us that this is great for digestion god knows if that's correct or not but we obviously need it since we're going to four different places this is also locally made it's juiced locally activated charcoal smells like lemonade tastes like lemonade but looks like it is water and charcoal thanks juicery All right, so we're staying on the Jumeirah Beach Road, which is basically, you've got the beach, you've got a row of houses, and then you've got the Jumeirah Beach Road, because it kind of cuts Jumeirah in half. We're staying on the same road for all our burgers. We were down at Salt on the beach, and now we just headed downwards, like so, towards city center, and we're going to Moilo's Burgers, which belongs to the Sharif family, our friends, Jamal, Smail. I think they have a sister who's involved as well, but great local burger. Once again, what are we doing? We are supporting local restaurants, local businesses. If you're traveling, if you're coming to Dubai, like, why wouldn't you have the thing that you can't have somewhere else? That's a rock star here, right? That is true, and we are here. It literally is about a six minute drive from Salt, so not very far away. We've got a good parking spot right in front of the restaurant. Let's go. So we're right here at Moilo's Burger. There we go, Moilo. So if you guys are wondering where that came from, Moilo is basically nickname of Ismail, who's one of the owners of this restaurant, and they call him Moilo, and he just called the place Moilo's. They've got amazing burgers over here, and the place looks super fab as well. But let's order because they might close. We can't afford for that. Hey, my name is Melvin. Melvin, nice to meet you, Melvin. Same, hey, good, yeah. Melvin, we want two of your hottest selling burgers. Which one? Like, would you like to go with something which is like, like a signature one, the Milo's burger? What do you recommend? Like, if, if this was our first time, which one do you recommend? I would have gone for like one of the Gangnam style and Milo's has a signature burger. So what do you, why don't you get one of those and I'll get the Milo's. Yeah. So we cut in half with taste. Okay. How about That's that? Good. All right, perfect. So we'll take one Moilo's. One Milo's. And we'll take one Gangnam. One Gangnam style. So you guys do um, truffle fries? Or do you have a signature drink? We do have like uh, Sinaberi iced tea and one of the Vimto Mojito. Vimto Mojito? We'll take a Vimto Mojito. Vimto Mojito. Sure. Vimto Mojito. Here we go. Let's start with the Parmesan fries. Oh man, that's amazing. That's like Parmesan truffle fries. Look how these are shining. You know? <laughs> oh yeah. Vimto mojito. Oh, Vimto mojito. mojito. Fantastic, man. Thanks, Super. Man. Thanks, man. Thank Thanks, Melvin. Got lots of Heinz ketchup. Huge fan. But listen, we gotta eat some of these fries while it's hot. I obviously love fries. And I obviously love me cheese as well. I'm also gonna dip it in some ketchup. I don't even like truffle fries, but it's so good. It's really damn good. Man, it's true. It is so good. And I gotta say, I mean, when you go to a place and you order fries, you get a little bit of fries. This is a lot of fries. It's in like a little cup bucket and it's just like popping out. This is a lot of fries, man. All right, let's try some of this Vimto Mojito. Super refreshing. Vimto is that berry cordial cocktail, which we drink a lot of in Ramadan. I don't know why. Super popular, but this has carbonation in it. It's got lemon in there. It's got a little bit of mint in there. Crushed ice. I think some sugar as well. Tastes good? Super good. Here, try some. <laughs> good, right? <laughs> it is so good. It hit the spot, I'm telling you. Look at that. <laughs> Let's do the Milo's. Oh, the Milo's? Yep, All one right. of our signature. Oh, signature That's right there. Drinks. That's what we call a freaking butter gangnam style. It has orange flour, that kind of juicy, like. Oh, awesome. wow. 
Amazing! Yeah, all right, put that right in front of me. Woo! Here okay, we go. Let's uh, open this up. Look at that. It looks like coleslaw. Who's that? Barbecue sauce, Thousand Island, or mayo chuck. You got that potato bun. You got fries in there. You got onion rings in there. You got a patty in there. You got cheese in there. All right. This is one of those Ooh. slightly messy burgers. Mmm. This is actually sweet potato. So. Wash Let's check this one out. This is the original Moilo's. That's an onion ring, cheese sauce, perfectly crisp burger, lettuce, and some more sauce. I love how it comes with some coleslaw too. So good. Look at this. This is a totally different burger than the last one we had. This one is a burger. It's a proper burger. Look at that patty. Nice, well cooked. Oh, is that fresh onion or is that the... Uh... No, it's the onion ring. Onion rings? You got onion rings in there, Cheese, awesome. Nice crisp lettuce, lots of sauce. Can I have a bite, man? The patty's really nice. It's not a super thick patty, just right, it's about half an inch. I love onions in burgers, no matter what, raw, uh, grilled, onion rings, anything. By the way, this is dripping all over the place, so one more bite. That bread is super fresh. It's got this brownish color, and I want to say, it's that famous potato bread that people talk about. Fresh, crisp lettuce. This is really good. You know what? If you're good at the classic, then you're gonna be great. And these guys are great at the classic. Well done, guys. So, I'm gonna score zero to 10. Esan, the classic. What are you gonna score it? 8.5. 8.5. I'm gonna score it an eight and a half. So 8.5, 8.5. Of 8.5. Super job, guys. We're gonna finish this up and then we're out of here to the next. So, meal for two 117 dirhams, which is something like 35 US dollars, so about 17 dollars per person. Pretty good. I mean, those burgers are large. Appreciate it, man. Awesome. Thank that. you so much. I appreciate it, man. Thank Cheers. you, man. Have a good night, guys. See you. Bye bye. Thanks, man. Let's get out of here. Starting to be stuffed, man. Starting to be stuffed, but I am stuffed. <laughs> Peeps, so the best thing about the next spot is that we're actually not gonna get out of the car. It is a drive-through, but not the conventional drive-through, not what you're used to. Let's call it a beep-through. A beep-through? What's beep? Because when you get there, you're gonna honk. Oh, that's a good one as well. That's a good <laughs> way to describe that. It's important to say it's not rude. That's just the system. They know, like, you're not offending anyone by doing that. They just They're, gotta see it, man. They, yeah, it's true. <laughs> they you just, just gotta, gotta see, see this thing. This is a Dubai-style drive-through. So what we're going to is not a conventional restaurant either. It's what we call a cafeteria. And a cafeteria over here is small-time restaurant, except this particular small-time restaurant is super big time. It's on a major road. There's usually a ton of cars, and you'll find Bentleys, you'll find Mercedes, You'll find Ferraris, you'll find Toyotas, Hondas, I mean, you name it, everybody comes over here and uh, look what it does to the road. Check it out, show, show, them, show them what's happening. I've been right coming here. here for 17 years. Look at how many people just for that tiny restaurant over there called Al Ijaza Cafeteria, legendary restaurant. Everyone's lined up and we're on a main road. It's not like, like yeah. it's backed up. Oh, you know what? Oh, he's coming up. Here comes the guy. Hi. How are you? Good? Great, So just two Adi chicken burgers. Then? Yes. And then one uh, Asir Abud. Asir Abud. Abud juice. We what? have, we have an, uh, new juice. Which What's one? new juice? For the sport chicken. What's inside? Inside the uh, mango, chiku, tea, and uh, ice cream. I'll take the expo. Because I want to support the expo. I'll take expo. expo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank you much. much. Thank you. Thank you. See that? That's professionally Love done. You. you may not have noticed, but that guy took down our car type, color, and plate number, and we're gonna go down here. Check this out. Check this out. Hello. 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 <laughs> The guys are so friendly. You know it's good when every night for 17 years I've been coming here, it's always backed up. There's nowhere to park and they have a system to get you your food super quick, super easy. 
and this is a very low cost restaurant as well it's not gonna bust your wallet but the food is it's not healthy but it's delicious <laughs> it's really good wait what did we eat today that was healthy we had <laughs> lettuce <laughs> But I'll tell you what, this is a <laughs> no frills chicken burger sandwich. And by the way, when you come over here, you've got to get the chicken burger. That's what they're known for when it comes to burgers. All right, peeps. So normally you would stay in the car and wait for your food to be delivered. But we want to show you guys what this restaurant looks like. So we parked about, I don't know, 300 meters away. There's a lot of space over here. And we're walking back to the restaurant to show you what that looks like they also have a bunch of tables and chairs outside so you'll find a lot of people sitting out like this having food right there all right guys how's it going oh yeah so they also have great shawarmas over here they also have great rotisserie chicken over here and then there's stuff going on on the inside all right guys Woo! look at this look how many people work here look at that how many sandwiches are being made? Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Hey, son, you know, there's probably like, I don't know, 30 or 40 <laughs> people that work here. Yeah, seriously. You need 30 yeah, or 40 people. Awesome. These guys are fast. Let's walk fast back to the car and see if they find them. <laughs> All right. Walk back to the car. All right. Get out of here. Hey, guys. I think 17 years ago, they started with half of that. The other half was a different place. I think it was oh, a yeah? supermarket or something, and then they took it over. Oh, wow. But that's all they've done. They've grown to that 500, <laughs> maybe 600 square foot. All right, back in the car. If uh, you want to have like this meal, a lot of people, what they do is, right after the restaurant, you take the next ride, and you're at the beach. So you can grab your food, oh, yeah. get in the car, Literally one minute, you're at the beach, you sit by the beach and have your food. It's awesome too. That is true as well. So we have two juices. This is your oh, Expo juice. Are you sure? Yeah. How do we know? Me. Does it have the Expo logo up on top of it? Oh yeah, that's no. the Expo logo. It just got messed up. But it has the splash of Vimto on top, Woo! which is the signature of cafeteria juices in Dubai is when they put a little splash of vento that's when you know it's real or sometimes I know that before they fill the cup they put like on the sides on the inside of the cup yeah. they put vimto like all around super cool and this is the new juice he told me about which has mango chiku and I think he said ice cream what did he which say was called mind. podge I'm not sure to be honest I couldn't tell he just told me there's a new juice and I have to try it all right, what about the burgers, man? Bring them out, bring them out. Oh, nice oh they got branded bag. bags now. Oh, it used to be all white. All white. No frills paper bag. All right. But now we got, oh, that's a significant chicken burger, french fries, mayo, tomato, a little bit of coleslaw in there. Mmm, good as ever. I can't believe you can get two of these and two full on thick juices for $10, honestly. That's a great deal. If you have no, if you're short on time, you try not to spend too much. This place is excellent. I gotta say, they were super quick as well, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, man. Is it gonna be my turn to have the burger anytime soon? Thank you, sir. This good packaging. Once again, the packaging of this always used to be plain white shawarma paper, and now they changed to this. Open up my burger. Here we go. Let me try the burger, man. You already had yours, right? You're gonna score it before I eat or you're gonna score it after I eat? After. All right, let's do this. Mm. That's a chicken burger that you cook on a pan with lots of oil, lots of mayo. They always put a lot of mayo. That is like the key sauce over here. All so right. what do you score this? So I'm gonna give this an 8.5 as well, which is a fantastic score. So what are you thinking? Look, I've been thinking about this, okay? Mm -hmm. I know I scored the first one a 9 and the second one an 8.5. I'm scoring this one an 8.5, but it's not really fair. They're different burgers. This is an 8.5 for what it is. The other two burgers I would call closer to kind of gourmet burgers. Mm. This is a straight up fast food burger. Cafeterias are our fast food chains. Um, so for a fast food burger, that's an 8.5, maybe a 9. Um, but if you want something more gourmet, the other ones are definitely, definitely super high quality, super delicious, very well made. All right, man, I'm also gonna need a sip of that juice. They got the black straw. All right, can They're you moving help on me? up. Oh, all right, so let's see what this is. This one's super thick. It's like a thick milkshake. It does have vanilla ice cream in it. I taste the banana in there as well. I wanna say it's got a little bit of mango in there also. 
Is that abut? Mm. Of course, definitely has mango. Mm. Very close to getting brain freeze. Very close, but not there. Oh, brain freeze. <laughs> oh, it happened. And by the way, not only are they well known for their sandwiches, they're super well known for all their fresh juices as well. So yeah, you always get a sandwich and a fresh juice. And once again, two full juices, two burgers, $10. And it's actually 11 p.m. peeps. Like this is four hours past the time that I'm supposed to have dinner, but you know I go the extra mile for you guys, right? That's what we're doing tonight. Esan and I still have a couple of burgers to finish, so we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go crash. Um, yeah. Oh, you already crashed, so. Peace out, peeps, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe because I need to hit 100,000. I'm very close, and if you don't help me, I'm not gonna get there. If you do, we will get there together. We're out of here. Peace out. Peace.